Good morning, everyone. I'm still in my cleaning mode today. I cleaned inside of my tub, and I cleaned my sink, and I cleaned my toilet, and so this middle floor bathroom is clean. I am just about to have myself another cup of coffee. It's it Thursday morning, and my husband is gone to the vets to take Sophie to get spayed this morning. She has to be there at 8. It is now almost quarter of 8 and um, so he'll probably be getting there maybe a little bit late because he just left a few minutes ago. It always happens that we always get behind like a logging truck or you know some slow poke. When you're in a hurry you always get behind somebody that's driving like five miles an hour but um, anyways, I hope he gets there on time, and I hope she comes through the surgery okay. I always get nervous, especially with her, because she's such a little peanut. And, you know, you get kind of nervous with the little tiny ones. As you can see, it is minus two degrees this morning. And as you can see, the indoor temperature is 60, which I love, because... You get acclimated to the cold weather up in Maine and, um, you know, 60, especially with with hot flashes and stuff like that, 60 sounds good to me. I know a lot of people would be calling that cold weather if it was 60 outside. You know, you just get used to the, the frigid temps outside, so 60 inside feels just right to me. So I asked my husband if he would mind taking the dog in this morning because I just wanted to get a few things done around here and I just tend to get more done when I have the house to myself and no one's making piles of junk behind me. So, Anyways, I got the middle floor bathroom done and Gizmo. You know I can't get through a video without her. So I'll take her cover off and let her say good morning. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Good morning. You want to come out? Good morning, little girl. She's my girlfriend. Yeah, she's my girlfriend. She's my little girlfriend, aren't you? And he's my boyfriend. He is a nervous wreck because his sissy is gone. And the last time when his brother went to the vets, he didn't come back. So you can understand why. Ripley is such a nervous wreck this morning. He's been whining and crying ever since she left. So he'll be happy to see her when she gets home this afternoon. So I'm just going to enjoy my coffee and enjoy my peace and quiet while I have it. Um, Gizmo has found something in her bowl up on top of her cage to munch on. Um, yeah, so... No plans today. Um, we don't need anything at the store. I bought a few books that um, I want to get into. So I may read this afternoon and um, in between just run up and downstairs to throw in laundry and fold clothes. I spent the day yesterday vacuuming and dusting and so the only thing I have to do is change the bird's cage, change the papers on the bottom of the bird's cage and just wipe her cage down. Other than that, I have some phone calls I need to catch up on and some emails I need to catch up on. About it, I really don't plan on doing much of anything today. Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on and give a little update about Sophie, my little Yorkie. She um, went in to get spayed today and a couple of people were asking about how she did. and. Um, she, we dropped her off at 8 o'clock this morning, like they said, 
and actually my husband dropped her off and um, they told us to call back at three and so we call back at three and they said that they're going to have to keep her overnight not because of any complications it was just because they um, didn't get to her until later on in the day so they just wanted to keep her overnight and just keep an eye on her she actually put on weight from the last time we had her in there she was two pounds eight ounces the last time we had her in for her third set of puppy shots and now she is four pounds one ounce this is probably as big as she's gonna get I think she's full grown now she's six months old so um, it's hard to believe she's six months old we got her at eight weeks so that's two months and we've already had her for four months already and she's just become such a big part of our family and for a little dog I'll tell you she's got a big personality and she is it's just the funniest little thing and she rules this house believe me she has Ripley wrapped around her little finger unbelievable tonight he's going around the house sniffing all over the place wondering where she is he's whining he's pacing the floor because last time he saw a dog go to the vets was quickly um, our cavalier that we had to have put down a few months ago and he started whining when Quigley left my husband he just really went downhill like one day and one evening and um, next thing you know in the morning he was just laying there um, just you know barely could pick his head up and I think you guys um, those of you who watch me remember the video the night that I was up all night with him and I had showed like you know some shots of him and that was his last night here so that the next morning when we took him to the vets um, we had to have him put down and um, he had renal failure and his heart was bad and everything but Ripley saw him go out and never saw him come back and that tore him apart. He, I mean, to this day, when we let him outside, he goes, you know, barking in the woods as if he's calling him because those two were like, you know, inseparable. Every time they went out, they would, they were always together. And it, they had their little trail that they went on every single morning, like, you know, through the woods. And, you know, they'd both come back at the same time. And I'm sure they marked every tree on the way. When my husband took Sophie this morning to the vets, Ripley looked and started whining like, you know, are you coming back? So when my husband came back without her, he has been like pacing the floors and looking up at us and whining and oh, it just breaks my heart because dogs don't know. When we call them at three, um, I was running around, I jumped in the shower, got dressed, put on my, you know, face, did my hair, thinking that I was going to go pick her up. And I was really disappointed to hear that they were going to keep her overnight because, you know, they didn't get to her, uh, her surgery. I guess they had some emergencies during the day. And um, so they, they had to come first. So she's going to be there tonight and it'll be the first, her first night away from us since we got her. When my husband called to see, you know, how she was doing, the girls at our vets are wonderful. The, all the vets there and the, the girls that work the desk and the technicians. He talked to one girl, Wanda, when, when um, he called and she said, Sophie entertained us all morning. We had her out of the, her little kennel and out here on our laps all morning with us and she is just such a fun little dog and so lovable and cuddly and it really touched my heart to hear that because you you know you want to know that when your animal isn't with you that there's somebody there that you know is really giving your animal a lot of love and that so that really made me feel good yeah so she'll be there tonight and we'll go pick her up at um, 9.30 in the morning, they told us to be there. 
So I'm sure when she walks in the door, Ripley is going to be so happy to see her. I'll probably film that tomorrow morning. I'll you know, bring my camera with me and film her when we pick her up and um, when we come home and show you the reaction of the two dogs when they see each other again because they are together 24-7, those dogs, and the only time they're not is when Ripley goes outside to go to the bathroom and does his little walkabout. He still goes on that same little trail that, you know, that him and Quigley used to go on, and it's like a ritual. And dogs are such creatures of habit. They do something once, and they think they're supposed to do it every day. I notice my two dogs like to go to bed at the same time every night, and if we don't go to bed at our usual time, they let us know. Um, the puppy will come up and bump us with her nose, you know, and then look up at us like, come on, let's go. And Ripley will come over and, and like put his two front paws on, on my lap or my husband's lap and like, you know, kind of like, let's go down. It's funny, they know exactly when we usually go to bed. I think they have a better internal clock than we do sometimes. That's That's been my day. I've been pretty much just kind of like pacing the floor all morning. And then um, when we found out that she had had her surgery, but they didn't do it till late, and she came through it just fine. And um, yeah, I guess they're going to send her home with some pain meds tomorrow. Or they may be giving them to her overnight. I don't know if they'll give them to me when I take her home tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but anyway, she's okay. I just wanted to come on and give a little update to everybody because a few people have asked and a couple of people even said, you know, oh, I'll say a prayer for her and, you know, send good thoughts and wishes. And I appreciate that so much, you know. Um, it takes another dog lover to, to say a prayer for somebody else's dog. And I, I just, I'm really touched by that. Anyways, guys, I hope you're all having a great night. I'm going to make some Sloppy Joes tonight, and um, and then I'm just going to just relax, see if I can find something good on TV. So I've been, it, it's been a good day for me to catch up on watching videos, I mean, watching other people's videos and answering um, comments on my last video. So, so it was a good catch-up day in that sense. Um, so I hope you're all having a great night, and I will be, like I said, bringing my camera tomorrow morning when we go pick up Sophie. And um, so I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Just one more quick thing. Um, I just talked to a friend of mine, and she's a YouTuber also, and a lot of you know her, but she has asked me not to say anything yet um, but she did ask me to ask for all your prayers she is going in for an MRI tomorrow um, the doctor found in her blood work that there's something serious going on with her liver and her mom died of liver cancer so she is a nervous wreck tonight um, along with me so I'm asking if you'd please, please say some prayers for her, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.